So James with Paradigm Arms dropped this grip off for us to essentially reverse engineer. So James is custom building every single part. So we know that this grip that he purchased online is not exactly going to match up. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to scan this and build a model based off of this part and fix everything that doesn't exactly line up. And then we're going to add some custom modifications to it. So this is just to get us basically 90% of the way because there's no models, there's no prints that actually exist. And James just showed up at the perfect time because Dynamic 3D just dropped off a brand new scanner that just came out a couple months ago. This is the Creaform Handy Scan Black Elite Plus. This thing is sick. Now the first question that everyone has with scanners like these is how accurate are they? And I know that because that was my first question. This scanner is actually ISO certified and it's accurate down to nine tenths. That's pretty insane. Now, I would have never guessed that they were that accurate. And actually this scanner has a limited model that's actually accurate down to a half a thou or five tenths. Now you gotta admit, that's pretty insane. And this thing is incredibly fast. It takes 1.8 million points per second. Now, once we finish the scan on this, it's going to create a mesh body. And anyone that's tried to design or program using a mesh knows that it can be pretty challenging. So I'm going to use a cheat code for this and get our buddies over at Dynamic 3D to help me with reverse engineering this part. They're going to be able to do this much faster than I can because they have some of the best reverse engineering software on the market. So they use DesignWorks and PolyWorks, which works with the 3D mesh and helps convert it into a solid body. And the best part of that software is it's compatible with all your major CAD software companies. So if any of you were ever following Titan back in the TV show days, you may remember an episode where a guy named James Hampton came in for Titan to help him develop a process for AR lowers. Well, James is a former Marine who turned businessman by opening up his own machine shop and Titan helped him develop that process. Fast forward to today, and James has opened up a new company called Paradigm Arms. Now we're very excited to be working with James on this project because this is gonna be a limited run of 15 parts of this unique Titans of CNC design. Now we know that this grip is actually designed for other frames on the market, and it's not going to line up with our Paradigm Arms frame. So what I did is I went in and custom fit this to our frames. So you see it's going to line up perfectly right along through here with our Paradigm Arm frame. Now I also went in and added some other features that I like to personally see on a grip, such as inside the trigger guard, you see that I open it up down here at the bottom. That's because, you know, sometimes you might be wearing gloves or something like that and you need a little bit extra room to fit and I really like that feature on other grips. Now, one other thing that you need to look out for is, is this is the most important thing. Look towards the bottom of your screen. See that subscribe button? If you're subscribed, then great. If you're not, go ahead and hit that button because this is gonna be a multi-part series and you wanna catch all of this content coming out. I'm gonna show you this entire process. Another thing that I did is down here at the bottom, I flared it out because I'm gonna make a custom mag wheel to go down here at the bottom. So that's gonna help the fitment when I make that mag wheel. And you probably already notice here, the main feature on this is the texture on the grip itself. So as you see, oh man, look at that. We got the Titan Eagles. That's gonna be pretty sick if I can pull this off. Now I'm gonna be honest, that's gonna be super tiny, man. I don't know really how it's gonna work out. I think I got an idea to put those on here that's it's going to be pretty cool if we can do it. So the last piece to this is the mainspring housing, which goes in the back. That's this little piece here. Now, once I got the model back and got all the dimensions off of the grip itself, then I reverse engineered that to make my own custom mainspring housing. Eagle's right here on the back of it, and it's going to line up perfectly with this bottom, the mag wheel where the magwell is going to go and then on the outside here as well. So we should have a seamless line going across there. Now, one thing that I did do is I tightened up all of the tolerances on this. So I actually don't know any tolerances themselves, but I tightened up the dimensions. That way we get a perfect fit with every piece that goes into this grip. Now, one thing we have to keep in mind is that this thing gets type three hard anodized coating. 
Now that is going to add a little bit to this surface. So we need to keep that in mind when we manufactured this part so we don't end up putting all this together and nothing fits. So now you see the design that we're working with here. Now remember, this is gonna be a limited edition. So we were only gonna make 15 of these. And I haven't even mentioned what we're making it out of yet. We're gonna make it out of 7075 aluminum. That way this thing is extremely tough and can handle any situation. So the last thing we're gonna look at is how are we gonna hold it? So I believe on something like this, we're gonna be able to get away with just a simple dovetail for most of the operations on this. To make this, we're gonna use our DN Solutions DVF 5000. That's gonna be the perfect for machine for this part. We don't have to do anything special other than make a dovetail. So that's gonna be our material prep op, is to make a dovetail and then we can flip it over and hold it in our vise. Now I have added an extra inch of material in order to get this grip up and away from the vise so we have a little bit of clearance there for our tools and our holders. So after we get the dovetail put in, we can just flip it over, put it in the vise, and we're ready to go on our first operation. Now for the second operation, we're gonna go ahead and have to build a fixture for that because there's not a whole lot to locate off of and not a whole lot to hold on to because we don't wanna hold on the outside of the grip and end up marring up our surfaces. Now we're gonna do that in the next video. That way I have a lot of time to tell you everything that I'm doing. So if you're excited about this part, make sure you hit that like button Go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next part in this series. We'll see y'all next time.